Blurns and flurns and worms and burns and worms. That's everybody. Got them all. <laughs> Hate to generalize. <laughs> Welcome back to another courageous episode of Preston Can't Play. The mysterious knocking from the hallway. That is kind of spooky, and I hope it's not a ghost. I hope it's not a ghost, too. Well, that's your friend, Tom Mitchell. Ah, it's kind of late, so we have to be quiet, but imagine I was screaming just now. The if, one, if you can go back to a separate episode where I did scream and just play that over that section. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll edit it in. <laughs> edit it in scream, please. I'm not going to do that. I'm not gonna that sounds like a hell. <laughs> um, the uh, other one that um, is so frightened that I might need a change of pants. <laughs> if you had one. Oh shit! I'm not Dunk. wearing my I'm not wearing corduroys today. Yeah, I noticed that after I made one, that hilarious joke. The one who's not wearing corduroys today must well, be impressed in black by some strange act of God. They're my work pants. I'm wearing work pants. I don't want to kill the bugger. Oh, never mind. Now it's attacking me. <laughs> it killed one of the rats earlier. So I assumed that we were friends. It just attacks anything that moves. All right, do it. Hey, Oh, and I yawn. But what if I don't move? Is that the secret? I think it'll attack you eventually. Also, if you don't kill it, you're just trapped in this battle forever because you can't escape from battles. In this mm. game. I want it. I mean, fire world. That's what I wanted. There's that world I love so much. Hee 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 ha ha ha. Yeah, that's the that's the juice. There it is. That's the stuff right there. That's that very good juice I love so much. That's the juice. <clears throat> the juice. Do you have a favorite kind of juice? I love juice, is what I want you to know before we talk about anything else. Does cider count? No. Does it? I don't know. No. What? I don't know. Does it? You tell me. <laughs> I panicked. Jeez. I don't know. This is your question. So you decide the rules. Yeah, your stupid, very sugary, carbonated juice is fine. All right. <laughs> uh, spiced cider. Ugh. I don't know why I ugh that. It Apple just, cider. I just feel like uh, we're so far away from weird. the spirit of the question. Okay, well, then you said it was fine, but... Um, yeah. If we're going regular juice, I don't know. Let's see. Um, Cider's fine. You can, I'm, uh, no, 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 no. I'll you can have your stupid juice. juice. I have a few, I guess That's I fine. Have, no, it's, it's pressed. Few, it's crushed. I have a few answers. Um... You were just trying to be clever. <laughs> There's one that I really like. Um, it's called Ruby Red Grapefruit Juice. Mm. Fuck yeah. Put me down on some grapefruit juice. Ghost hates grapefruit. <gasps> so It's not allowed in the house. Yeah. I mean, it's not like not allowed. Like olives are not allowed in the house. <laughs> really? I just like don't generally <laughs> buy stuff that like. Only one of you will enjoy. Yeah. I get that feel. Like every once in a while, like I'll get one if it's like on my personal time mm -hmm. or whatever. It's it's my very special juice time. Yeah. It's my juice. <laughs> I think I've come home with like a bottle of grapefruit just like one time. My private juice experience. <laughs> Knock before entering. I mean, if I can get like a single grapefruit juice, then I will. But they're uh -huh. not, they're coming to coming to find singles. Yeah, hot I've singles. Grape, I've, grapefruit, <laughs> I've grapefruit to all the city's sexiest singles. Yeah. Um. In, in your inbox right now. Yeah. Partying. Partying. If you want to call this 1-800 number and you can join the party as well. You can party with this ju very good juice. Um, yeah, ruby red grapefruit juice. Not super common in singles. Unless <sighs> you're like eating at 7-Eleven. I think they have it. But like, I don't know. I don't think I've ever seen a single grapefruit juice in like a grocery store. Okay. That's an observation. I hope you've all grown out of eating at 7-Eleven as a meal. <laughs> Oof. I used to do that. <clears throat> You've, you mentioned that once. Yeah, hard. And it seems so such a far cry not, from not who you are today. Yeah, this was a weird <clears> time. <throat> this is when I was in a family marriage, so I didn't have a lot oh. of self-respect. <laughs> Classic. Um, yeah, so um, there's also very specific juice that I quite like, which was, uh, it's I think it's called Strawberry Breeze mm. by... I think I like that one too. Like, like Welch's or something makes it okay like some like generic like fruit products brand mm -hmm. um and you can find it at like 
regular grocery stores. Like they wouldn't have it at like Whole Foods or something like that. Oh, They'll gotcha. Have it at like Super One Foods. Yeah. I guess I don't know what that is. It's the grocery store in Hamilton, Montana. Oh yeah. Maybe you know if you ever took the time yeah, to it. Go got it. Stop visit my family there. at the A and P. A and P. Um. Uh. What? So yeah, I guess that's it. Oh, in general, gonna... my favorite juice. Discluding cider, since that's off limits now. <laughs> yes, it is. <clears throat> I'm going to double down on that. Ruby red grapefruit juice, but also strawberry breeze shuts out. Close second. Yo, strawberry breeze. Where are my strawberry breeze lovers at? You ever had like weird Let me sodas? Let like, me like pineapple soda or strawberry soda. I've not had pineapple soda, but yeah, like Western family brands, strawberry soda. Boogie down on that. The, like four liter bottles. Oh, no, we got them in 12-pack cans, baby. Oh. Me and my stepbrother would convince our parents to buy probably more of those than two teenage boys needed <laughs> before proceeding to play video games all day, or all night, rather. Oh. Sounds like you were getting all your essential vitamins <laughs> yep. and minerals. It says strawberry right on it. It can't be that bad. <laughs> um, what other weird sodas? You kind of introduced the concept of pineapple soda, and I'm very interested by that. Uh, have you never seen pineapple soda? I've never seen pineapple soda. That's like one of the like same thing. Like you got to go to like the real budget grocery stores mm. to find it. It's because like, only like com- like brands are that are absolute trash make it. Um, but it's not bad. Remember. <clears throat> that very specific gap of four years in your life when Jones Soda was the absolute shit? Um, no, I never drank Jones Soda. Mm. Maybe it was after your time. I just remember everyone being like <laughs> super horned up for Jones Soda for seriously like four years and now I don't ever hear anyone talk about it. Super horned. <laughs> For the Jones Soda, yes. <laughs> I don't believe I said it. I've seen it around, but I've never had it. Okay. Um, what period of your life was this? Um, I was probably ages of like twelve to sixteen. See, I maybe guess seventeen. At that, at that time, I was ankle deep in surge. Oh, baby. Oh, uh, I don't think we're going to be at the end of this dungeon already. Oh, you got plenty. Not. You got plenty more dungeons to do. Okay, of this dungeon? No, but there's like a succession of dungeons here. Okay. Or I guess there's just like one other one in this world. Oh, this particular one. There's still enemies for me to kill, and I want that good juicy XP. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh wow. <clears throat> so far, we don't recognize any of these locations, right? No. Cool, cool, cool. Do we assume this is in the distant future or distant past? I don't know. No wow. one's, no one's uh, drawn any conclusions yet. Although Luca did say that the technology seemed very advanced. Gotcha. But I wasn't sure if it was like a cyclical thing, you know? Oh, yeah. 1999. <laughs> Gotta get visual record of the day of lava. It's gotta get ready for Y2K, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, tell can you leave out no details about your experience with Y two K? Was it a big deal to you and yours? Um, I remember like all the hype around it, and I don't think I ever, was ever convinced that it was going to be a, a thing. Okay, like, I did not buy into like the like all the computers are going to crash and like because like, we were like eighteen, nineteen at the time, right? I was like sixteen or seventeen. <clears throat> okay. Fuck me, right? Oh, yeah, I don't know how to do math. You're right. I forgot what year I was born <laughs> is what happened there. Um, yeah, I, I was I never thought that like Y2K was going to be a problem. OK. Um, once we get through this cutscene, I'll share my experience. OK. <clears throat> no, I refuse to believe it. This is Cake Town. (laughs) 
Okay. Let's change history. Okay. Seems easy. <laughs> I see no repercussions. It's just thing we can do. Seems chill, 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 chill. Let's go. I mean, I don't feel like I have a choice here. I feel like we're going to be going in either case. <laughs> Take a second and do some more research on Lavos' activities back in our time period. Next stop, Protodome. That was all we had to do here? Yep. Oh, you can play that again for me? Yeah, just watch that again. Nice. Sweet. So, December 1999. I remember this weirdly clearly because it was very out of character for my parents to bring us to a friend of theirs New Year's party <clears throat> that... I'd never really like known before. You know, it wasn't uncommon for us to like hang out with our parents' friends and they'd be like, yeah, go entertain yourselves, kids. Mm -hmm. And I remember not thinking it was weird that all the kids were hanging out down in the basement. And in this basement, there was like a fair amount of like bottled water and canned foods. Um, at the time, I didn't think much of it. I just figured that's where these people stored it because I didn't know what the fuck Y2K was. But then like... Spent the whole night playing PlayStation with these boys I didn't know, but we were all playing Madden. And I was learning how to play that for the first time and doing very poorly. <laughs> but it's what everyone was playing. Time. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty okay. Just sucking at Madden for the first <laughs> time with children that you don't know. Yeah. Is uh, my personal health. Super duper chill. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of how it felt. And like, I didn't really grow up with consoles, so I think at this time I'd only played... PlayStation or sorry, Nintendo, mm -hmm. maybe some Super Nintendo, which like I understand that's how it went for everybody, but for me, I was like other things were available by this time. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, whenever it got close to like the countdown, they had us turn it off, and they watched the countdown from downstairs in the basement, and all the adults came down. Hell yeah, fuck that rat up. <laughs> um, and I didn't think much of it that they just hung out down there for like an hour, and then eventually everyone's kind of like started milling about and like making their way <laughs> going home and it wasn't until much later that I realized it was because they were expecting Y2K they were expecting the world to end so nothing happened and yeah. everyone was like let down and uncomfortable I guess I'll go home That's so funny <laughs> oh I let Luca die because I was busy telling a story sorry Luca but it, yeah it seriously wasn't until high school when they were talking about like how real of a thing Y2K kind of was that I was like oh it kind of makes sense all of a sudden why this very, very weird thing happens. Oh, uh, Luca, there you go. That's so funny. My parents <laughs> used to have, um, like, New Year's parties when I was young. They, if they did at that point. I can't remember doing anything in particular for 99. I might have been having my own New Year's parties at that point. Oh, wow. Um, but I don't remember. I, I mean, like, there were I a couple... I just kind of blur together because... Oh, excuse me. Because my birthday is right by, by there. Oh, yeah. So, like... I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, for most of my youth, like, my parents didn't... They'd either just, like, send us to a friend's house. Mm -hmm. Sometimes have one of the older sisters babysit all of us. But, yeah, it wasn't ever, like... A major thing for them. It's, like, party with the kids. So for like that, maybe like one or two other times when we were getting a little, when I was getting a little bit older. Yeah. I don't really want to fight these guys. Well, that's what we're doing. Guess we'll do a fire whirl. May as well fire whirl about it. <laughs> May as well. That'll make me feel better. You're right. It always does. Now we just have to wait until the one character who can do damage right now is ready. This is a chill experience I'm having. Yeah, Oops. This, this is probably the only part of the game that is kind of clunky. <laughs> to me, if, in, in my recollection. Yeah. I've played it, I mean, I, I, I've definitely played it fairly recently, like within the past like three years. Was that everything I was coming down here for? Yeah, you, yeah. Okay. Yeah, your job was to get that seed. And then to find out about Lavos. And I can't open those strange doors yet. Right. How do I... Do I have to get a robot friend, maybe? How do I eventually get to the point of being allowed to open those doors? 
that's story story related. All right, I'm. I guess that was my question. I can't open it right now. No, I'm supposed to leave. Okay, no, that's that's way in the future. Gotcha. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna come to rear this statement, but these fights are really simple right now. Where I feel like, <clears throat> with the exception of those one single bad guys, I'm just mashing X. Oh yeah, and there's not like really much strategy. Mm hmm Yeah. And I know that'll change eventually, and I'll hate myself for having said what I've just said. <laughs> but for now. Um, I don't think like the like the like your normal encounters ever get particularly complex. Mm hmm I think maybe like the action varies a little bit more. Okay. Um, but I mean, they also know that like you only have so much at your disposal right now. Yeah. And I do like that pacing. I mean, yeah. contradictory to what I just said, I do like that it's not overwhelming at any point. Um. Yeah, it's, it's chill, Chrono. We got this one. I think you. I will have to confirm this, but I think you are not. Re, um, gaining uh, like tech points or ability points right now. Oh, and these random encounters? Yeah. Whack. So I think like you're like you have the spells that you're gonna have for a while. <laughs> cool. 52 experience. 1x heal. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, well. Let's go, gang. Great jump to freeze frame. I loved it. Every second. Can't wait for it to be over. Been here for literal eternity. <laughs> I, um... I think that this era, like, of the game is my least favorite. Why's that? I don't know. I think, like... It's, um... I just kind of find it tedious. Yeah. So far, I pretty much agree. There's not, like, much that goes on in this era. Mm-hmm. It's probably the time that you spend the, the least amount in. It's just the future sucks. Yeah. It's gotcha. It's like a huge, like... I mean, it's very important. It's, like, the impetus for, like, the main action of the story. Okay. Like, is the discovery of Lavos. But there's not a lot of action that actually takes place in this era. And, like... It's just a lot of, like, fighting robots. Yeah. Kind of a lot of brain dead enemies. Yeah, and, like, the next deck dungeon's, like, really big. Hmm. And, yeah, there's just nothing, like, really captivating that happens in this era. They're gonna eat us. Lots of cannibal vibes in this game. <laughs> Got a nice ring to it. Wow. Such a foreign concept. One bike key. Hell yeah. Getting a motherfucking jet bike. Hell yeah, baby. Stay healthy. Stay healthy. <laughs> Get the fuck out of my way, dog. <laughs> you don't know. You um, want to step? I guess I can save in here without going to world map. Yeah. Get a quick heal. We'll be all fresh and ripe to go on the next installment of that very good show I love so much. What's it called, Don? Preston... I can't play. Oh, okay. You did it. You said the thing. There it is. Um, oh everyone, my. you're loved and appreciated. Especially you, Roger. Roger, never change. You're perfect. Unless you want to change. I want to empower you to be the best you. Yeah. Mwah. I guess it's not fair to say don't ever change. Like, we can always improve. Yeah. But, like... Grow. Yeah. But I, for the record, think you're fine the way you are. Yeah. Don't feel pressured to have to change. Right. You asshole. You. <laughs> <laughs>